Imagine this, the military needs to send 100 tons of cargo anywhere on Earth, and they can do it in just 90 minutes. Sounds like the plot of a blockbuster, right? But this was almost reality. The US Air Force actually teamed up with SpaceX, looking to use rockets for rapid cargo delivery. The idea? Rockets faster than any plane, zipping supplies across the globe and rewriting the rules of logistics. Now picture the test site. Johnston Atoll, it's this tiny speck of land in the Pacific, over 800 miles from Hawaii, it's had a wild past, once a nuclear test site, now a wildlife refuge, pristine beaches, crystal clear water and absolutely packed with seabirds. 14 species call this place home, nesting and thriving under strict environmental protection. Here's where things get tricky. Conservationists raise the alarm rocket launches could seriously harm this delicate ecosystem. Loud noise, vibrations and exhaust, all bad news for endangered birds. And the law is crystal clear no messing with protected habitats. Funny enough, this isn't SpaceX's first run-in with feathered friends. During a test in Texas, rockets messed up some bird nests, and Elon Musk tried to lighten the mood joking, I won't eat omelets for a week. But yeah, birds take these things personally. So what happened? The Air Force pressed pause. They've officially suspended the Johnston Atoll plan, and now they're hunting for new locations that won't put wildlife at risk. And honestly, there's a bigger lesson here. Even our wildest technological dreams have to play by nature's rules. No matter how advanced our rockets get, respecting the planet is non-negotiable. If we want a future that soars, it has to lift up everyone, humans, and every little creature on Earth. Like hearing about tech at the edge of possibility? Stick around, hit follow, and join me next time for more stories where innovation meets the world around us.